What's up, everybody? My name is Lei Hua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lei Superfina. Today, we are reacting to the world's finest assassin. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe and the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you like to support the channel, we got Patreon, channel membership, and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to the world's finest assassin episode three last episode we got this girl who was introduced she's powerful and she is going to teach our main lead how to use magic he's gonna teach him like he's already op and it's not like he's op right away but he had to build up these skills and such to get powerful right and he did was he was born into a family of assassins so the foundation was there for him he just had to build it up you know which is really good and i liked how they were explaining things so i'm hoping that they explain about the teacher and such and we can see this journey the journey is so good magic of bond mm -hmm. so this girl that we saw who's going to be his teacher we saw her in the opening right so She's going to be showing up a lot. The thing is, not right away. 13 years older than you? What? magic of bonds mm -hmm. so we know that this girl saw her in the opening she's going to be a prominent character mistia he's three years older than him there's something about these isekais where like the teacher is a little older than the student right and I'm thinking about um, Spirit Chronicles, where the teacher was also silver-haired. Pour all your mana into the stone. Ooh, he's going to try to put in more mana. Rapid recovery and limitless growth. And she's like, wait, wait, wait. How come it's impossible for him to have that much? Oh, it's going to break. It's going to break. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Teacher wasn't ready. Huh, that looks like a supernova. Wow, mom still has a big chest. He's Louise. Don't be sorry, girl. Yes, look, did it cause what happened? Yep. Yep, he wields such powerful magic that he won't die. Because remember, the mom was like really worried if this kid was going to survive because they had another kid before him, right? Yeah. So they're really happy that he's powerful, that he's going to be able to survive, take care of himself. And that's why they're so doting, right? 
Huh. Doesn't the mom and Dia have the same hair color? Hmm. Didn't the goddess have the same hair color too? Hmm. I think it's also interesting where the dad's like, can you teach him more magic for assassination instead of war? <laughs> How come you need those stones to assassinate the hero, though? So you can measure your mana? Or for the explosion? Aww, she's nervous in her first night at a different place. This really shows how young she is. Like, even though she's only three years older than him, and she's teaching him, and she's a well-known magic user, she's still young. She's still a kid. Which is also another thing that's similar to Spirit Chronicles. <laughs> Notice how they're, like, in an open area away from the castle. Bye you should have four attributes. What was it? Fire, water, was it darkness, dark, and one more? Was it earth? Wind? I think wind would go with what he's doing. Oh, it was Earth! <laughs> and wind! Oh, I was right! The only thing I was wrong about was the darkness. <laughs> Shows how much I was paying attention in the last episode. But he's got four. Look at them sitting next to each other so closely. Powerful and memorable experience. Girl, was your mentor like this? Did your mentor do this to you too? I hope your mentor was a woman because this looks like sexual harassment. Etch <laughs> it into the mind. So this is attribute conversion. Seriously, colorless power. Is that Dia guiding him? Oh, this is such a calming guidance. Very intimate. Kind of a reflection of how personable magic can be. Earth. Oh, oh, what is this? Is this all the information about magic bursting into his brain? You learned a spell. Oh, so spells just come to you. They just pop in your head. Kind of like, you've acquired a new skill. It is this magic spell. Dun, 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 dun. Ready. Oh, apparently there's an order of spells. <laughs> the 
like my memory's awesome. Can't keep up with articulate. <laughs> So, with this, is he going to learn how to make bullets, guns, weapons? Trying to learn how to use magic to reinforce the weapons? Mm-hmm. Learn how to make bombs? Oh, she's getting homesick. She wants grotten like she has... At home. Wait, did she have Gratin with you back at home? Maybe it was just something he made. Has she ever had that before? Or was it the first time she ever had it with him? But it's. The more magic you use, the more spells come to mind. So is she, you know, top magic user because she used so many spells that she became powerful or is it the amount of mana? Oh, they are customizing the spells, making teensy bitsy adjustments. Create a new spell. Thirty six magic letters. Oh, numbers. Is this like chemistry? Uh. Gravity, melting point, and atomic weight. Oh, it is like chemistry! Hoo 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 hoo. Ooh! Ooh! It was like an incompute, incompute, cannot. <laughs> Weird. How come he could do it, but she couldn't? Be ring spell, spell weaver. Oh! Ooh, if she reads it, does it mean that she can acquire it? <laughs> the way she took it, she's like... Oh! <laughs> <gasps> 
It actually worked! Bruh, he could sell spells. He can create spells and sell them. Ooh, they're going to create more spells. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, fist bump. Righteous. He creates new recipes in this world, and he creates new spells in this world. Boy, revelation. Well, to us, it's, it's not. To them, it is. <laughs> Yo, his gun! Pew, pew, pow, pow! Oh, so in the first episode, that's why she was so proficient in this, because he was very zealous about it. She was in try new things, experiment mode, when they were first discovering the stuff. Yo, he made a cannon. Oh, so pretty this cannon! Yo! Oh dear. Yeah, what are you planning to shoot with that? Oh wait, the hero. He's planning to shoot the hero with that. Oh, look at his weapon. It kind of got destroyed. Bombard. That's her baby. That's the first thing she created with Luke. Bug. She's still sleeping in the same bed as him. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's leaving after two weeks? That's too short! Bruh, should have been a year. At least. Make more memories with her. Make her a gift. Make her something that no one else can have. A knife. This is a product of our spells. Girl, that's your baby. <laughs> she was the perfect mentor for him because he wasn't restricted. She let him go wild. Mm -hmm. And she's very receptive to learn from him too. Which enabled them to bounce off each other with these ideas and such. Mm -hmm. Excitement to fill a lifetime. Girl, he's going to put more excitement in your life. Mm -hmm. What's that? Do anything to thank her. See you when you really, really want to see him. Hmm, this sounds like she has an arranged marriage. Like someone we know from Spirit Chronicles. Well, that wasn't really an arranged marriage. <laughs> that was like a political thing that was done afterwards. She 
he's like, I promise I'll come by you. You seem to have grown enough. The truth of Twahade. Twahade. There you go. Sustain the lives of, of exceptional people. Fascination. Kingdom's illness and preventing harm. Secret techniques to hone those skills. Used for medical experiments and killing people. Oh, he has to practice killing people. Why did you raise me to be resistant to kill a person? Ooh. Because we're people, not tools. We don't kill because we're ordered to. He's asking a question of why he's being taught differently from his previous life. This is like the opposite of what he was taught before. Before he was taught to suppress his emotions, to just listen to his orders. This one is like, no. Feel emotions. Understand why you're doing this. Is that another kid? Yo! The dad did this on purpose to make it hard. What did she do to get into prison? Armed robbery, murder, and arson. Oh. Wow. Girl, no mercy for you if you committed crimes over and over again. Jeez Louise. Wow, she really doesn't want to die. Oh! Yikes. Oh, her true colors came out. <laughs> she was told to cry. Oh my gosh. Oh, she was she was really good at acting. Jeez Louise. And that's my reaction to the world's finest assassin episode three. Oh boy, that ending. Oh my goodness. You always, we, not you, but we, we always remember what's happening at the end. So let's kind of talk about in the beginning and the middle. Okay. Yeah, she's adorable. She is kind of like a prodigy. She's usually good at what she does. Magic, right? And she's teaching this boy who's like three years younger but she shows such humility with him she shows such a vulnerable side like she's sleeping with him almost every night i don't think she ever slept in in, in her own room the whole time she was there for two weeks right and even though she was like slightly jealous of how much mana he has or how many how he can make spells and such she was never resentful of him she embraced it 
embraced what he could do. She embraced the experience with him. And she also learned stuff too. Like she got her own gun. She learned about player. Pew! And yeah, they have a really good bond. There is that part where she said, when I really, really want to see you, you got to come see me. Guaranteed, we're going to see her again. She's going to rescue her for some reason. I think, because I didn't get that far in the manga, I think that she is, you know, betrothed. She is promised to someone. She's stuck in this predestined life that she's in with like politics and whatever, you know. And she doesn't want to be in it, right? We know she's not. We know that she's going to end up with Luke. Look. Is it Luke? Luke. Luke. Whatever. Look. I think it's Luke. <laughs> I'm really bad at names. <laughs> Lug. I think she's going to rescue her. She's going to stay with him. She's going to do assassin stuff with him because she's got to she's gotta hide and she's got to kill people who wants to take her away from that exciting life that he opened her eyes to. <laughs> but yeah, what did you think about this episode? And what are your theories about future episodes? Because we know they're going to see each other. It's just when and how. And what did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord link. The description i also stream on twitch.tv slash like superfina outside of youtube and twitch i host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime manga and other things we're interested in if you like podcasts like that link to podcasts is in the description we're available on all platforms other than that my name is lehua and this is the superfina channel reacting to the world's finest assassin episode three hope you guys like this video and i'll see you on the next one later